Welcome back to the Black Parade. I'm return to the city. And I'm getting stuck on the table. Well, I'm gonna go where that guy's just walked. Which is inconvenient. Uh, I guess I could have come. We could get up here, right? So I could have come down that way. There. Anything left from dinner? Some leftovers, so I heard. So. Yeah, let's maybe I should maybe let's try going up the alley, up the steps from dog like that, because it might uh, work out better. This guy's timing should be convenient. The guard seems to have just gone down in the alley again, which is also probably convenient. <laughs> Where are you going, man? Me? You're not supposed to have seen me. Help, run away. Okay, this is... I didn't think he would see me. This is a bad idea. Um. Next time I'll see blood. Yeah? You want an arrow to the knee? No, you don't. Oh, except that's that's up there, right? I can't get up there. Ooh, this is a terrible plan. Then. <sighs> Guess I can stand on top of this shiny thing and get up here. Huh? Okay, I guess I can get up here. Is that the way you're supposed to get to this balcony? Not like that. Is that too high, or is that just... Doesn't feel too high. Maybe the side of it. Maybe it is too high. Uh, it would be ropeable. Definitely would there, but... Unless I can maybe run and jump to the... Chains? That doesn't seem likely. Alright. Can I go anywhere else from this wall? Since I've got here and riled people up, is, is that a ledge? No. Those are ledges. Can I... <sighs> I can. Oh, this is a dog leg, right? It's just this. The steps of a dog leg. I guess we are going the, the way that I started. He's a bit unhappy now. He saw a miscreant and... Oh, Amorite. What are you doing now? Doesn't really help. Where's, where's all this light coming from? So that light, street lamp, doesn't... What's lighting up this area? I don't know, but this guy's, this guy's gonna be angry now, so I need to not let him see me. chance to run for it. Cool, the priest was not 
was not too alert. What am I stuck on here? Oof. I don't know. Oh, this is a sour well if there ever was one. <laughs> Actually, climb up these. Because of this. Uh, oh yeah. They're too too chunky for stepping up properly. That doesn't open, does it? Nah. Mm, not very savory food in that stall. What's he guarding? He's guarding this, this, this alley, I think. That's the inn. Who is there? Is someone there? Oh, you know what? I, I can spend one of these here. <laughs> and see the table. I can't reach it. Am I coming this way? What are you doing down here, man? <clears throat> There's no place for you to the likes of you. That's right, turn around and go back. Mm hmm, I could climb that barrel and get on the wall up there. I think that looks like a fun place to go. Um, but I have not been in this area, so we probably want to try. God is it's nearby. I could hear his beep. <coughs> Who is there? Is someone there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's not opening all the way. <gasps> mantle I suppose but uh, that's nearly a uh, have to reload because of the gold doors hmm I'm gonna that's odd let's learn where this guy goes before I come up there I want to see what we've got on the ground level a body here. Hmm. I wonder if that guard had anything to do with that, or whether he just hadn't seen him. Easier with you. Him. Oh, he didn't hear anything. It's fine. What have we got in here? Can't get out there. Oh, I recognise this place. Uh, because this I saw about 
three minutes or so of <sighs> of this mission when uh, oh, come on. <sighs> when uh, Dylan Rogers was playing it on stream. <sighs> Where was this? We climbed up here. No. Here. No, here. I'm sorry. So we're heading east out of here, so we're heading into this building, I guess. We have this caged statue for uh, a light that doesn't. It's the candles flickering on and off. So it's supposed to be electric. A lot of books. The Necropotent Tome backwards. I guess keep make, having your magic books written backwards is one way to keep them safe from the flaps, right? The Excellent Gazette, bringing the truth since 827. Please listen. The odious Burrick scandal. The excellent Gazette is shocked and appalled to learn the Baron took part in flagitious pagan rituals. Indeed, this humble newspaper was made aware of the fact that our disgraced ruler once put his manhood in a dead Burrick's throat to cure an illness and supposedly bring good fortune. We at the excellent Gazette are left speechless by such a vile practice. Such pagan horror should not be happening. What is the good Arch Cardinal doing? And to add insult to injury, it has been proven time and time again that the Baron, this odious miscreant, has a hidden fortune in Roxburgh, of all places. The Baron is a traitor to his own nation. Down with the Hammerites. The owner of this humble newspaper would like to express his utter disdain towards the Order of the Hammer and their obsolete standards. Yes, sir, High Priest Blias told my poor Christian fair wife her henin was obscene. The Hammerites never cease to reach new lows. Their religion of old must disappear. Shut up, snail muncher. We at the excellent Gazette are furious that yesterday the Ambassador of Salang was befouling our pure language with his frogmeat-filled mouth. Isn't it enough that our poor city is forced to endure the continuous flow of putrid cheese wheels and disgusting wines dishonouring her delicate warehouses, that we now have to suffer the disgrace of these lazy mobards mimicking our noble language as well? Learn to speak properly or be gone. Wow, what a rag. I'm surprised that the Baron seems to be, uh, uh ancient ancestor of um, David Cameron now. That's a surprise. Alright, is this that, is that a door? Yeah, that one's got a handle, this one doesn't. Up and that they look the same. Anything, any likely to be anything on these rafters, we think? Well, we can... Climb up here and have a look, maybe? No? Apparently, you can't mantle that one. There we go. That ah, looks like nothing. South out of here. Oh! Alright. Now we know where this place goes. Hello. There is something over there. <sighs> That felt like a laugh, not a death scream. Oh shit, this is the last place I saved. <sighs> Oops, well let's go to scope again. I will not need to read the gazette again at least. <sighs> People not build this stuff and never try climbing it in their own missions? Do they just ignore when they've all the deaths when they're building this stuff? I don't know. You'd think... You'd think... You'd think that a set of experienced mission builders would not build shit like this that gets bad with the uh, with the way that, uh, you know, at least I have enough experience with the dark engine not to make stuff that's so uh, <sighs> problematic, but I guess not. Or, or they don't care about movement, which is, you know. A lot of people do not care about whether 
you fall to your death or not through mantling going bad because of the way you built the level. Alright, let's try this again and let's try not falling off this time. Again, mantling onto a thing that is too narrow. Whatever. Strange place to uh, leave your wine, but uh, who am I to, to argue? Alright, back down. Without dying this time, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to be able to successfully do this bit without dying. Seems extremely fraught. Okay, landed on the ladder. That really loud ambience in there. So there's nothing in the garden. I guess I do want to go... Noisy, noisy floor. He heard it. He decided it was not worth bothering about. What's there? Nothing. Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> not doors, okay. I can maybe climb up that. Can I climb up this? I mean, it should be ascendable, right? If noisily. Ugh. Well, that's one, one way in. What's up here? Door that doesn't open. Hmm. There does seem to be a bit of roof there that I don't think I can access. Yeah, that's too steep. In Rotten Row. It does. There's guards in here too. That's good. Red, nice. I am down a hit point, maybe I should eat something. Let's try cabbages. Nope. Carrots. There we go. Lots of healthy food for one hit point. Oh, there's nothing else in here. Okay. To go out so. <sighs> Do I want to be at, at Rotten Row? Let's go and down. Oh, of course we're in here. Right, right, right. That's fine. This is the this is the way we need to be going. To get towards our fine friend's establishment. Orphanage is somewhere up this way. Alright, I'm gonna go up the ladder. Okay, this oh this ladder just goes to there, alright. I didn't see it from that side. Alright. Guard duty. Well, there's the orphanage. Four coins. I just can't believe I am working to earn just four stupid coins. Are they talking to each other there? 
Well, they're just mustering at the same time. This fat learns coins. Will feed me for at least a week. Working to earn just four stupid coins. Sounds like they're supposed to be bantering, but the timing is well. Hmm. What did she tell me to bring home? Red coins, clothes. Can I read that? This time it's serious, boys. The boss's ticklers were waiting for me at my house to tell me the boss don't want any of these so-called downwinders roaming freely around Webby no more. So the next trigger we catch on our tower, we stop his mouth with rocks and we smash his face until no more teeth stand. They'll regret having set foot outside of downtown. We must make an example. Crueler. Oh, he does sound crueler than uh, some others. I want to read that note on the door, but not with this guy standing watch. Can I make that jump? Feels like no. Too bright brightly lit around here. in circles on the stairway is what he's doing. This is the butchers. Alright, I'm gonna quick save and quick load and see if I get some unstuck. Oh, he's, is he waiting for the owner of this place to maybe show him, teach him a lesson of some kind? What was that sound I heard? I don't know. So this is the guards. Such as they are. They don't seem to be uh, in the Baron's employ, that's for sure, or any of the Baron's chain of command. Hmm. Oh, shit. What did she do? No luck, partner. Now fight me. into me and the other sees me because I don't know why right out I'm the law in here an honest citizen isn't afraid of the law is he of course not I didn't, I'm not afraid it just hurt Run that's all. as far as you can I'm a citizen right? you know what Burn. Doesn't seem to be working, but you know. I tried. Uh, I guess I eat my bread then. Nothing. What is that enormously loud clanking? Of course, this is the area with the Undertakers. This fat learns pockets will feed me for at least a week. Good to punch 12 gold pieces. Low reach and shake 14. Nose broken, both eyes blacked 20. 
black jacket out and swim in the sewers. 25 gold pieces. Stabbed upon the body. 35. Ask for Cruller at the Gossip's Bridal Pub. No questions asked. Oh, I just oh, can't not find clap. working to earn just... Hey! What do you think you're doing? What? Do you think I'm blind and I don't see that ace up your sleeve? You cheat! You have some nerve to call me a cheat, you rascal son of a hammer. I'm winning fair and square. You're so terrible I don't need to cheat to beat you. You're a taff and swindler. Listen, everyone. That bloke is a cheat and a fraud. Say I cheat again. And I'll rip your head off with my blade, you damn liar. But hey, if you want to kill each other, you do wanna it fight, outside. huh? You'll taste my steel, all right? No! Uh, uh, the uh, stop it! Uh, Get out! Voice! Uh, to me! Uh, yeah! Uh, ah! Yeah! Uh, sorry, I'm sorry! Uh, uh, yeah! Uh, Boys. A lot of stabs. Give me a bag. Give me a bag. I love Yeah. Well, I guess this is how the Undertaker gets his uh, business. Yeah. Well, I guess I should leave him to it. Like, just... They seem pretty tough to me. They're not really uh... a lot of blood going on, but not much else happening. Okay, we got the sewers there. Where are we? People who like their creepy candles. Another tiresome day spent strolling through these sordid alleys and breathing behind a horrible pointed mask. But again, the cold hard cash given by my mysterious customers is definitely worth the effort. Perhaps I should be able to finally leave this shed hole one day. As usual, I unloaded the steps right into the open sewer access and dug into the garbage to find my payment. I think I saw someone spying on me from the old Hawdry Manor back door that time. I pretended I didn't see anything and walked away. Now, when you have dealt with the Larlock Society and twisted degenerate highborns, you know curiosity is far more deadly than a blade. This humble undertaker knows something about it. Besides, Grimmauble is far too smart for being curious about trades so strangely lucrative. Oh, this one, they have... Okay, so I've complained before about fan missions using this uh, ledger-style back background, which doesn't mark pages. This one does... They do have uh, pages marked in this, so that's nice. I uh, shall not complain about that. How come I can't take the holy water? It's on top of the book and I can't take it. I'll complain about not being able to take a thing that is obviously an item that's usable. And this time it's decided that it shouldn't be usable. Why oh, is a coffin? Very fancy coffin too, eh? That's a cheaper one, I suppose. I guess he's showing us that's the for advertising purposes. You can have the the one or the other. Well, I kind of want to jump down here and explore, but I feel like I might not be able to get back out. It's just a coffin. An empty coffin. Others allowed. I can get back out, no problem. Alright, wow, those guys are still at it. <sighs> okay, back to this zone. Um Hope you didn't see me. Uh, we 
read that one. Wanted. Poor boy, Esmond, the lady taken of Docker. 170. Couple Rose, Martha. Harlot, Lustler, and Trickster Spouse. 100. Go Walt, Reray. False Tale, Gold Lender, and Coin Picker. 450. Let's only see what they consider to be proper crimes. Dahlquist should be in here, in this inconspicuous orphanage. Knowing the guy, it's a front operation. And I wouldn't be surprised if he uses the kids to do his dirty work. When you say he should be in here, you probably don't mean in here, right? In this sewer. Well, there's one of the stiffs. They dump in here. Cool. Picking up spiders is just what I want. But picking up loot. Is good. Is this getting me inside the orphanage? It does seem like it might be. Alright, we can come in this way. But if we're meeting a friend, could we be sneaking in here or could we. I guess we don't know for sure he'll be happy to see us, right? Pleasant bedtime stories for all little masters and mistresses by Dothic and Rattle. The Creeper Stalker. He's a very scary monster that likes to gobble children just like you when they are home alone. But here is the tip. When he is inside a building, he can only walk on a youngster's footprints. Mark my words, if you don't want him to swallow you whole when you are playing by yourself, take off your boots before you enter the house. Finicky Vicky. She's an ugly cannibal who likes to jump on children's meat, but she hates yucky gruel. So if you don't want her to come and get you, eat as much porridge as you can. It's the only way to keep her far away from you. Murky Larry. When the thick black smoke comes from the factories, Murky Larry drifts through the fog. Little ones who stay outside for too long get a nasty cough, and as they hack and walk, they hear a strange echo in their own coughing. This is Murky Larry casting a curse on them. If they don't return home quickly, they will start hacking so much blood they will die. I mean, I guess there's some lessons to be learned there. Okay, I know what's in this chest because this is one of the other bits I saw in uh, Dylan's stream. There's a dead spider in this chest. I didn't see too much in that stream because I was only half paying attention. It's kind of the two pieces I saw was I remember that metal vent that I was climbing up and then uh, I remember seeing this happening to see this chest and then opening it. Funny Nursery Rhymes for All Little Boys and Girls by Jay Bradle. My son was big on Morn's Day, he began to drink on Tears Day. Bad was he on Steam Day, violent was he on Vines Day, worse he was on Fears Day, dead was he on Baron's Day. Glad was I on Hammer's Day to bury my son on Morn's Day. Soup made by a lady wearing cat skin. I head to a neighborhood where all the old ladies have disappeared. Tarts made by a lady wearing dog skin. Two shovels were sold at the tool shop. A hole as deep as a young man's height. What? I don't understand that nursery rhyme at all. Oh, it couldn't have come in the front door, I see. Bolted shut. Let's not have it open up in front of us. Oh, not a door. Just come over here to open the door and find out it isn't a door. Also not a door. Also not a door. Let me guess, we're going to see Dalquist through here. Hey, man. For the last time, ye idiots, I don't want to be disturbed. Leave me alone and tap off. Calm down, Dalquist. It's me. You? Is that really you? How? When? 
By the trickster! I didn't know you were back in the city. Yeah, I arrived a few days ago. This place has changed a lot, but you seem to have managed by yourself. You can't believe how glad I am to see you! Bunch of lackwits I'm working with. Bah, yeah, I manage. But the work is as dull as it can be. Oh, say, I was actually looking for someone who could carry a job. You're the best, and you always come in the nick of time, you sneaky bastard. So, what do you say? Willing to help your old pal out? Well, all right. I'm all ears. Oh! I wasn't expecting the mission to end there. All right. Oh, we did pretty decently on the loot. Only 280 short. 279, rather. I was killed four. Four? Did I kill four? Killed one guard. No, I killed a couple of guys. And a spider. Alright, well he's got a job for us, and we're only half an hour in. I guess we continue and find out what he wants us to do for him. City heads had forgotten and lost behind them walls of stone and wood, singing a wailing song, a dance of agony. But some remembered and gave their blood, feasting and strutting, giving birth to their dead roofs. So it could feed from their carcass and raise the new sanctuary. It looks like Dahlquest has an interesting job for me. There's a merchant in town called Monsieur Halliford, who owns a ramshackle manor in the south of Shalebridge. He fancies himself an art collector now, and possesses a precious face with diamonds that Dahlquist wants to acquire. Maybe we can pawn it to some fence afterwards for a nice sum of money. He assures me that Halliford will be away tonight, meaning he left the house to his house guards, and the word is, They've been quite lax, as they haven't been properly paid for quite some time. This is a perfect opportunity to get in, steal that shiny trinket, and get out quietly. Dahlquist has provided me with a quick sketch of the manor. Looks like the place is stuck between several old buildings, so the interior is most probably quite narrow. There's a sewer access nearby, so I can always use it to break into the manor grounds though I'd rather avoid the awful stench coming from there. I haven't seen Dahlquist in years, so I don't know if his information is truly accurate and reliable. But if it is, this job should be painless and profitable. And I really need the money right now. Break into Mr. Halford's manor and steal his precious face. Bars, rather. It is most likely kept in the upper floors of the manor. Rumor is, Halford also keeps an expensive golden clock. I steal it as well. In addition to the bars, loot the place for at least 800 worth of valuables. And there is no need to shed innocent blood tonight, so don't kill any unarmed people. Return to your entry point once you're done. Ooh, we've got to expert. There has been talk of an extremely valuable piece devilishly kept hidden in a vault somewhere in the manor. Whatever it is, I like the sound of that. It should be worth quite a bit, I think. We we'll go from 800 to 1250 for the loot goal, but, uh, and don't kill anyone. Show Darkwist you haven't lost his skills. You know what? I think that that feels like a. We can do expert, right? Do we get a shop? No, he seems to be loading the mission. I 
Oh, we do go to shop. Okay, good. Message from Darkwist. I didn't even remember to use the smoke bombs. Um, this cheap bomb releases a thin, intoxicating smoke on impact that dulls the senses for a short duration. It is also said to be a rather efficient vermin repellent. Message from your old friend about smoke bombs. Okay, we know how they work there. 1400 gossip. Latest gossip from the seedy inns and dark alleyways, but it comes at a price. It's only 100. We'll take uh, one of these, two of these. We've got five water arrows and three moss. 16 broadheads. I don't need broadheads. Thin, intoxicating smoke that dulls the senses. Also, this would be a rather efficient vermin repellent. I should have tried them out last mission to see what they were like, but, uh... And I just... I thought I was going to have uh, time between missions that was not on in the recording. So I thought I was going to be able to uh, bind them to a hotkey as well. I guess not. I don't want a mine. I mean, they're good, but they're expensive. And they're maybe not all that good. I'm not expecting... Although we're not supposed to be killing anyone, right? I'm gonna get another flash bomb so we can get away. And four more water arrows, and I think that'll do me nicely. Nine mortars. Three flash. I don't need to worry about if we get caught and I waste one. I don't won't feel like a waste when I got three. Always like to have one spare just in case, right? Or I could get four more water arrows for it to get thirteen mortars. Now nah, we'll be good. Don't really like starting in the, in the light. Okay. Front gates. We're starting here. Basement, sewer access, captain's quarters. Basement. That's a pretty detailed map of the basement. Hume, I think this sewer should lead you to the machine room downstairs. Okay, that's... Watch out for guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all the info I could bet gather. Right, so we don't... He doesn't know where those four will go. That's a bizarre hallway. meat the finest cuts it's not a door it's an open window up there <whistles> hey mate this is filter street oh what's happening here it's being chased off by uh What happened, mate? Chased down the street by the guy's guards, huh? I do notice the uh, pipes up there and the pipe across there, but how do you even get there? I, mean, I can jump in here and go in the sewers for sure. Can't climb this, right? Is he going to get chased back? He was snitching on me. See, I saw someone back there. Hmm, the sewers definitely seem like the best way in, don't they? A pipe, though. Get me access. Big fancy gargoyle there. Hmm. 
I mean, you do silly things like <sighs> climb on signposts and maybe jump across. Can I climb on? Oops. The problem with climbing on signposts is that it's so narrow you can't really use them very well if they're good. Jumping <sighs> off point. Can't stand on this properly. There we are. Do I think I can make the leap to there? Maybe. Apparently I can't mantle that properly. Come on. I can, it's just awkward. Alright. Oh. Another healing potion, that's great. Who knows whether I'll need it or not. It's very likely I, I shall. And then... <sighs> Nobody heard anything suspicious, right? Oh, great. It's lost. All that effort. I need to find the locked door. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So I might have to go for a swim after all. Oh, there's a there's a chest I can reach there, which probably shouldn't rob through the fence, right? Look at that. Just broadheads. That's fine. Oh, that's quite a current. That's a ridiculous current. Come on, grab the ladder. No? Okay, just barely. <sighs> And the current should be the same strength in both places, right? You'd think water doesn't... <sighs> doesn't speed up and slow down unless the channel size changes. And the channels are the same width. There's a gas arrow there, is there? Or is there just... Escaping gas. It's escaping gas. I guess the idea is you jump in here and you get... Wash downstream, right? Oh, I can open this door. Hello, some uh someone's making some kind of home for himself here. Not a very comfortable one. Alright, let's go for a swim. So all of a sudden the current's a whole lot less. Whoa! Well, oh. and then suddenly speeds up again. Can I grab the ladder? I can. Wait a minute, this feels like we're going to the other side of the mansion now. Yeah, it must be here. <sighs> well, this is just the public street still, right? for me. You know what? There's the gossip. How about I share some gossip with you? <laughs> Word on the street is that a help with the captain of the guard has quarters in a tower with broken windows that still haven't been repaired despite his demands. <laughs> that sounds like drafty. He's, that's his tower right there. 
Hume, I have no idea if you've ever used these smoke bombs from Jordan and Mafiodis. <laughs> a nice, nice name there. But I thought giving you a couple as a token of my appreciation for you taking this job was a good idea. I know you've told me you don't give a damn about creepy crawlies ever since your stay in jail and in the work camp, but if you ever find yourself surrounded by a few nasty critters, just throw these at them and they'll skip that all faster than you can say, by the builder's ass. Just don't breathe these fumes, you hear me? They're not strong enough to send you to sleep, but they are potent enough as to give you one strong headache and a loss of control over your body. Man, I have no idea who these manufacturers are, but their toys sure can do some damage. I doubt you'll have to use them on Halford's lazy bastards, but you never know, might come in handy as well. Return with that damn vase and we'll drink some good red from it. D. Uh, that's a reference to, uh... The, uh... Guy who, um, did most of the scripting work with this, uh, campaign. Including, obviously, these smoke bombs. You know what, we should, t we should try them. Let's just test them out. Right, we've got a, we've got a willing test victim here, right? Didn't even call? Hmm. That's... Less... Does it... What happens if I drop it at my own feet? Nothing at all. That's a little weird. Okay. I'll have to try it on a guard at some point. Just for the sake of experimentation. Uh, that's the captain of the guard's tower. So maybe we can get in there. That seems like a good place to go. Right, we can, if we get up there... <laughs> If there's anything on the public street worth our attention. That's his back gate, right? Pipes. <laughs> kind of busted there, man. No, I don't know, maybe it's warm. Stealing from those is bad luck, you know. Is it now? What about stealing from you? That's funny, I wonder if I wonder if there is something scripted to happen as a result of that. That would be very amusing. Odolo and Son. Baked potatoes, pup eels, fried fish. Sheep strutters, all hot. Uh, strange noises coming from their kitchens. What's this? Jacko, I've been hearing odd noises coming from the eastern subjunction. I'm no stranger to those. These sewers are older than the builder himself, but I've never heard anything like this before. Sounds like rattling and high pitched squeaking. I've worked underground long enough to know that's not gases escaping from pipes. The problem is the subjunction is right under the mess's grounds and is off limits to us, but an inquiry has to be made. Do you know anyone at the department who can provide a writ of access? Darren. Oh, this is the sewers access. This is the public works. Okay. What are we running there? Let's get eyes on. Finish our scouting run. Constable Traves, before I begin my plea, I must assure you that I'm an honest pie seller. My pies are made with 40% of identifiable meat, which is not something everyone can claim in these parts. That comes fresh from the slaughterhouses in Grimstock. I even sell them at a price where I'm basically cutting my own throat. It began like this. At first, it was nothing but youngsters with nothing better to do than coming in front of my stall and caterwauling mockingly. That wasn't hilarious, but it was somewhat entertaining at the beginning. Now it's a whole bunch of jackabones that have the nerve to accuse me of using cat meat in my jelly pies. Every tapping day. My reputation is beyond ruined. Nobody buys from me anymore. I've followed one of these imps, and to my surprise, they led me right in Baryon Street, where the so-called Honourable Guild of Tart Pie and Tort Makers Guild Hall is. I even saw the little brat getting paid by those tappers. 
They tried to enlist me several times in the past, but I always refused. It's a smear campaign, nothing less. I won't allow it. And so I write this missive to you. Please help an honest pie seller like me, not one of these charlatans who use smear tactics and outright libel against independence. It's not my fault my pies taste way better than the dross they have to call to sell. I'm eagerly awaiting a positive response from you. P. Anglevin. And there's the front gate. Okay. We have done a full circle around the mansion, even if half of it was underground. Hello. Nearly missed that. That wouldn't have been great. So we can check out the works. He's not gonna care if we go in here, right? What's I'm soaked and my back hurts. Uh well. Do I want to go in the sewers? I mean, kind of. I want to explore the sewers, right? I want to see what we've got. Maybe. Is that rats? A squeaking kind of rat like. Eastern subjunction, he said, right? Is that down that way? That's east. Okay, what's that? What have we got there? That is a big spider. I wasn't expecting giant spiders in this mission. about them for a late mission, but uh what's that? Oh I saw that in uh seen this exact model and that exact thing in uh somewhere in the mechanist buildings in the Patriot campaign. Can I break this open? Right, I can break it but it doesn't open anything. Okay. the door to the eastern subjunction I guess. So this will be the way to get there. Alright. Are those supposed to be spider eggs? Well, they do not react to being chopped, so... Hearing any weird noises down here? No. Ugh, squealings and skitterings and slitherings or whatever. All these sewers are large, though. I didn't actually mean to fall in there. Let's go through the door rather than <sighs> rather than in the water. I guess this works as well. I didn't see the ladder here. Right, it's not gonna get me anywhere, okay. So I can get back out, that's that's the good news.
And there's a water crystal. Alright, well, the current is taking me this direction. The sewers were one of the few things I didn't miss during my extended stay in the work camp. Chime rang three hours ago. Well, at least we don't have to clean it. Everything flows out through the canal. True, true. But still, God in the privy's taffing kills me. And build us bones. Why do we keep a post here? Because the captain caught us black handed sneaking a whore into the dormitories, that's why. Nah, that I understand. What I don't <sighs> understand is why here. At the privies. Well, there's that canal. Probably in case rat-faced taffers crawl up it. <laughs> you taffer what, mate? Does the captain really believe a cracksman would be so foolish to crawl up through all that muck? No taffer way. I mean, squeals, spiders, plague rats, vermin like that. Ah, squeals. <laughs> Right, so we are inside at the privies then. Okay, which is kind of where I wanted to get in anyway. I didn't realize we were that close to coming inside. Hmm. Ah! Thanks, ladders. Ah! Ah! Uh. Alright, if you're crouching the, on this one, you miss it. If you're not crouching, I guess it's fine. Can I get back out easily? You climb up that big ladder again, right? Because I do want to try getting in through the captain's quarters instead of through the sewers. <sighs> But, I did want to check out the sewers to see what we had in here first. And, you know, that conversation was worth uh, overhearing, I suppose. Thanks, Hume. <sighs> Alright. Come on, get on the ladder. Again. Cover our tracks, as it were. <gasps> All right, and if we head around here, back to the north side. Someone walking into the guards' quarters there kind of saw me before. But, um, yeah. Just kind of caught a glimpse. Alright. Hello, anything in here?
Where are you seeing me from? The garden? Can't fit through that window, so that's a little odd. There's nothing there. Alright, well, anyway, it's been uh, half an hour. It's the end of uh, the full hour then. So. I'm going to end the episode here, and when we come back, we're going to see if we can find a way into this ridiculous mansion. A drier, less smelly way than, uh, than the sewer approach. So I'll see you then.